How are you feeling about this weather? It is insane. Massive heat wave. Like I'm telling you now, I, this is like the third change of clothes that I've done today and it's only just gone one o'clock because I'm constantly dripping. But anyway, let's push on to our next video, shall we? Hang around. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video here at Benham Media. My name is Nathan and I do hope you are all very well today and staying safe. So, the heat wave has officially hit London. It has been sunny for oh, so many days now and literally just sat in my own sweat, even just sitting around doing nothing. So I've come back into my shed to shoot this next video because I can't actually go out and shoot anything at the moment because a couple of days ago, I broke my ND filter. Yep, I put it in my back pocket when I was playing around with some settings and I sat on it and snapped it. So at the moment, I can't actually go outside and shoot anything because it's just far too bright. So, coming to the shed to do this next video, to do this sort of like bit of an experiment of, of a photo shoot really. Like, I'll explain what I'm gonna do in a minute take you over to my set which I've got all set up behind me. Did a couple of little test shoots on this a couple of days ago to see if it would actually work. Some of them have come out quite well. So I'm now going to record the actual overall photo shoot. So without further ado, come over with me and I will show you what we plan to do within this within this setup. So come on, let's, let's, let's do this. So this is the setup we've got going in here. So as you can see, I've got my camera and I've got a little jar of water just in the centre here as well. And I've tried my best to make it as sort of like dark as possible because I've got no way of blacking out these windows yet. So I can't be in complete, complete control of what's going on around me, which I don't know if it's going to help or hinder or anything like that. So we're going to give it a crack. I've never really done anything like this before. And what I'm going to do is that I've got a cup of milk here and a syringe and the plan is to sort of like drip some milk into this jar of water and then capture all the shapes that it makes as it sort of like disperses into the uh, the clear water and it you know like with my test shooting to see if this actually works if it was any good you know they come up quite nice very sort of like alien like cloud type things on the flip side of that what i also try to plan to do is i went to my local shops to see if I can find any like sort of colored paint. So I could use the white of the milk and have a look to see if there's any blues or reds or greens, but I couldn't find any paint anywhere. So it's just gonna be milk today. So it's not gonna be take long. It should maybe have a bit of a play with different settings, with different ways. So let's have a quick little look on what we're gonna do to sort of begin with. So I'm gonna have a bit of a test, bit of a play. I've got some extra water. And yeah, like, like it is quite basic, it's quite simple, this one, but hopefully the outcome will be brilliant. So let's just uh, let's get all set up, shall we? Right, so the plan is to use this pencil to dip into the water, and then I'm gonna use my autofocus to focus on the tip of the pencil, that way I know it's pin sharp, and then I'm gonna switch it over to auto, uh, manual focus after that, that way I know I've got the focal length to exactly where I want it. I've got my aperture very, very narrow. So it's a quite nice little narrow field where it should all be absolutely perfect. So hopefully I should be able to get every single drop in quite well. I've tilted the camera to the side so it's in portrait and I'm only sort of like concentrating on the sort of the middle part. So I'm really, really tight into the glass. So we're not seeing any of the edges or anything like that. So it should hopefully, hopefully, hopefully all turn out quite well. So let's, let's get it started, shall we? First test run.
some of them are coming out really, really good. Uh, I've got my shutter right going really, really quick. So I'm taking about three or four, um, well, actually about seven photographs with each go. So I'm just pressing my shutter down, going tick, 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 as I'm moving it down. And I'm getting all sorts of, you know, so my shutter speed's quite quick. I've got my aperture on F8. So I might actually bring my shutter speed up a little bit at the moment. I might really, really bring that so it's really, really quick, really, really fast. So I'm gonna give that another go. But some of these first shots are really, really cool. They look so epic. So yeah, let's keep on going. Now something else I'm really happy with is that I was having a bit of a, a stress when I was starting this setup and I was putting it all together that I wouldn't be able to make sure I get the glass jar to exactly where it needs to be each time. But lucky enough, because I've got this black towel underneath, that lifting the jar up because of the weight of the water, it's actually left a nice little dent in the jar, so I know exactly where to put it each time. So that's a little bit of a bit of a fluke, really. Yeah. Right, so these are coming out really, really cool. So what I'm gonna do now, instead of just doing like one stream, me just sort of pressing it and going in, I'm gonna try to sort of like jet it in like that. So there's one little sort of one going in. So I've brought my shutter speed up quite a fair amount now. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just basically playing around with it now, just experimenting. So yeah, this, this shouldn't take much longer. Like I've already got some really nice shots that I'm pleased with. Yeah, I suppose the edit will, it will all come down in the edit, I guess. It, that's how we know these photographs are any good or not. So I'm just gonna get my focal point now, using my pencil. We'll do it again. So yeah, these are all coming out quite nicely. Uh, I'm gonna try one last thing before we tie everything up, is that I've noticed that sometimes when the water's moving inside, especially after I've done a, a bit of a sort of shot inside it, is that there's a nice little whirlpool. So I'm gonna give it another go by sort of spinning the water inside, see if I can get like a little bit of movement and then squirting it in and see if that affects, well it obviously will affect it, but I'm gonna see how it would affect and how it looks like within the photographs as well. So I'm gonna give that a go. But just to sort of update my settings, I'm so far got my shutter speed up to one thousandth of a second. Uh, my aperture has gone down to 5.6 now as well. And I've got my ISO on auto. Well, I'm letting the camera figure that out for me. But th those are my settings. That just in case you're wondering. I don't know, can you want to try this yourself? It is a lot of fun. You know, I wish I had a, a few more colors to give it a go, so apart from just the black and white, but I think it's gonna look really, really cool when it's done. So yeah, so I'm gonna give that one last go, and then I'm gonna leave you guys to it. And yeah, you can go off and do it yourself. Yeah, that didn't that didn't work. That just made the milk disperse more into the jug. Look, it's creamy now. It's so yeah, that 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 didn't work. Oh well, gonna get a few more, and I'm gonna wrap this up. Hmm, trial and error. So it's just you know, if you want to try this, don't spin the water. Just just, just don't. It just doesn't work. No. Right, so that's it. Those are some of the best photographs that I got from this shoot. So I think they, I think they've come out pretty well. Actually, I'm quite pleased with them. You know, very alien-like. I don't know about you. Um, maybe tell me in the comments below that if you weren't told that was in fact milk in water, would you actually know what that effect is? And I hope it's given you the the imagination to to try things like this. Like I've said in the past, I've not actually been this type of photographer before. When I started photography, it wasn't something that I was sort of all the way into. You know, I like taking photographs of uh, streets, but most of my work was portrait photography. I literally was get a, uh, get a client, take a photograph of them and move on really. But since lockdown and <clears throat> the lack of clients and since starting this channel, uh, my creative juices have really been flowing. And I've never thought of doing something like this. This is the first time I've done it. The first time I've done many new things in the last few months or so. And I am, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying 
thinking of new ways to, to create, basically. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it hasn't taken up too much of your time. And I do hope that you've, you've made it to the end. You know, it's, if you have, I tell you what, go down in the comments below and just type in B team, Ben and Media's team, and let me know what you actually liked about this video, if anything, really, if you did like it. If you did like it, hit the little like button just down here. It literally takes you seconds out of your day. You know, click that like button and move on. And if you fancy it, also hit the subscribe button as well. It means an awful lot to me. That way I can share more videos with more people. And if you fancy seeing any more of my work, my social media tags are just about here. Come over and say hello, give me a follow and a like and whatever else. But until next time guys, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I'm gonna go inside because I am sweating. It is so stuffy in this shed. I mean, like, there's zero air coming through here. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna survive today. This literally, I'm, I'm a mess. I'm gonna go and get a cold drink. It might be a beer. I'm not gonna deny that. Till next time. Thank you so much. Mwah, 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 mwah. Also, I forgot to mention this, is that I have a hashtag on Instagram, if you fancy. It is bmpix2020. So if you used Instagram, go over there and sort of use that hashtag. You know, you, I will have a look at them and, you know, give you a wave on the channel. If you, if that's something that you, yeah, just go and this one here.